Welcome back everyone. Our next topic is the topic of reactivity in Svelte. There are two concepts to cover, reactive declarations and reactive statements. Let's go over declarations in this video and statements in the next. In the script section, I'm going to declare two variables. Let first name is equal to Bruce. Let last name is equal to Wayne. In the markup, we can bind first name and last name. So h2 tag, curly braces, first name, space, curly braces, last name. Take a look at the browser and we see Bruce Wayne. Now it's also possible to achieve this exact same result using reactive declarations. There is a special syntax to this, which is dollar sign followed by a colon. So instead of let or const, we use this followed by the variable name. Let's call it full name. This is going to be equal to first name followed by last name. Now in the markup, we can bind full name using curly braces. If we take a look at the browser, you can see the same output. So what we have done is composed a new variable from existing variable values. Full name is a property composed from first name and last name. In the browser though, both represent the same UI. Which brings us to the question, why would we use reactive declarations with this syntax when we can just bind variables? Well, there are a few things to go over. For starters, full name is more descriptive of the data it represents rather than a combination of first name and last name in the markup. Also, if a value like full name needs to be rendered in multiple places, reactive declarations make much more sense. A JavaScript expression that is repeated in multiple places only makes it harder to maintain the code. Let's look at another example to justify this point. I'm going to copy paste a new variable. The property is called items and is an array of objects. Each object contains an ID, a title and a price. We have a TV for 100, a phone for 200 and a laptop for 300. Assume these are the items in your cart on an e-commerce site. If we have to display the total cost of all these items, we could do that in the markup. So h2 tag total is going to be items.reduce. This accepts a function which receives the total and the current item. And we are simply going to return total is equal to total plus current item dot price and the initial total is zero and this of course is total. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, we should see the total as 600. Suppose you have to display this total on the cart icon as well as the order summary. You could duplicate this expression but as you might have guessed, it would mean that you have to maintain the same code in multiple places. Suppose you have to add a discount on the order total, you would have to tweak your code in more than one place. Curly braces in the markup should be used to bind simple data and not perform complex logic. The right approach is to use a reactive declaration. So in the script section, define another reactive variable called total. So dollar colon total. And assign the expression we have in the markup. Let's move this line after the items array. In the markup, render total. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, the output remains the same. And the good thing about reactive declarations 
is that they are automatically recalculated if their dependencies change. Let me explain with an example. In the markup, let me add a button to change the first name and last name values. So button, the text is going to be change name and on click of this button, we're going to assign first name with Clark and last name is going to be equal to Kent. If you now go back to the browser, click on the button, you can see the full name updates since first name and last name updated. You don't have to worry about updating the full name variable separately. Svelte handles it for you. But what you have to know though is that the reactive system works based on assignment. So when working with arrays or objects, direct mutation will not cause a re-render. Let me show that to you with the items array we currently have. In the markup, let's add another button to add an object into the items array. So button, the text is going to be add item and on click of this button, we're going to have items dot push and we're going to push an item with ID four, title, keyboard, and the price is going to be 50. If you now go back to the browser, we have the total as 600 and the button to add an item. If we click on the button though, the value does not update. This is because there is no assignment. To fix this, we need to assign a new value to the items array. So I'm going to wrap this with parentheses and we are going to have items is equal to spread the current items and then add the new item. Now go back to the browser and click on add item and the total increments to 650. Since the items array changes on button click, the total is recomputed and the value 650 is rendered in the browser. Again, you don't have to worry about letting Svelte know that it has to recalculate the total. Svelte will take care of it for you. So that is about reactive declarations. In the next video, let's take a look at reactive statements.